Two on the outside with braces to the edge. And we should have the exact same thing, the short version. Come on, Bobby. Get the bug down. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to A House from Trees and welcome to season two. We've got the plans done. Thank you, Matt Burke of Riverside Survey. And I'm going to start measuring, squaring up the ends of these beams, these uh, posts and beams, and drawing out my notches. Uh, basically, a cut plan. This year's plan is to get the, uh, for this summer, this season before the snow flies, is to get the frame up. Ideally, I'd get the roof on and get the driveway done. Uh, so, we've got a little more excavation time. we we'll have to put a frost wall in out here. Stay tuned, there will be more coming. You drew a guy. Yes. So, those are all the posts. So, bent one, bent two, bent three, and bent four. This is a side view from the east. And this is from the south, looking up. So, these are eight foot. 8 foot in there, and this is a big 12 foot opening here. With a lot of overhang all the way around. Overhang. There it is. So I'm going to transfer all this information onto that post. But first I'm going to square up the bottom. Priority numero uno, because that gives me a point of reference for all these measurements. These are brace pockets that are going to be five inches with a three and a half inch slope. Two inches in. I guess they call it a framing square for a reason, huh? I worked on putting an edge on this last night. Nice and sharp. When you're running a framing chisel, you always chisel with the bevel side down because that way you can control the depth of your cut. Oh, I wish you could smell that. That is glorious. It's amazing what a sharp tool will do. So once I start on kind of full on production of these, I'll be augering most of these out with a drill, a drill bit, and then just kind of cleaning up the corners. But for old time's sake, I'm using a chisel. All right, I can start working on this 45 here.
Kind of neat how it gives you the idea of the structure of the wood these sharp tools can make. Test the hair over three and a half all the way around. Well, there it is. It's June 29th, 2017, and this is my inaugural cut into the timber frame of the house from trees. Five inch long, three and a half inch deep. So I love chisels and I love mallets and I love the hand tools and I love doing it like this. I've built the timber frame before uh, when I was 23 with a good close friend and we used nothing, absolutely nothing but these. One, two, and a one inch uh, framing chisel. But no power tools, none whatsoever. And uh, I'm planning on demonstrating uh, through just trial and error and tips um, the best and most efficient ways to uh, make these mortises and tenons. Drills, saws, uh, I've got a lot of tips from my friend Matt Burke who used to do this professionally and now he's a surveyor and I'm looking forward to finding the best and most efficient way and most precise way to do this. This is really good, it's precise, it looks great, but it took me, I don't know, half an hour, 40 minutes. Uh, I mean, I'd get a little more proficient with time, but only a little bit more. If I could auger out a lot of that wood with um, with a drill and a saw and clean all these things up, I think it just makes sense to do that. So uh, I'll be showing you how I do it because I'm going to be learning and I'll be do documenting it. So come along for the ride. Enjoy. Well, the layout has begun, and pretty soon I'll be able to get going on the driveway and get in the frost wall belt. Hope you enjoy what you see.